let's take a look at the Intellivision Flashback Classic Games Console, the Collector's Edition with 60 built-in games. Comes with overlays, some overlays. This came out quite a long time ago. Uh, I didn't really have an Intellivision when they first came out. I do remember playing the Intellivision at the demo kiosk at Service Merchandise. I used to play Tron Deadly Discs, uh, Auto Racing, Night Stalker, those type of games. The system is really nice. Uh, never got one though. But when the flashback consoles came out, I went ahead and picked one up. And I do enjoy playing these games on this flashback console. It's, it's not too bad. I do have an original Intellivision now that I play games on using my LTO flash card. But this was pretty cool to have back then before I bought my original Intellivision. Anyway, I'm rambling. Pretty cool box layout. On the side it shows some of the overlays that come with it. On the back it shows some of the games that we have. Of course we have Astro Smash, I absolutely love that game. We have the pinball game, which is actually kind of good. Of course we have Night Stalker. We have Buddy 17 Bomber, Bomb Squat, Space Spartans. A lot of good games on here. Space Battle, some unreleased games, which are really cool. Mudium Stadium, Stadium Mud Buggies, that, that's a cool game. But this is not the version I really like of the Intellivision Flashback. Let me grab the one that I really like, which is this one here. This is the limited edition Intellivision Flashback with the autograph sleeve on it. This was only available at, class, at the Classic Gaming Expo or the Vegas Retro Gaming Expo in 2014. Uh, I received this from my buddy Scott Schreiber, who organized the Retro Expo back in 2014, as a thank you for running the console game room. I really appreciate him getting this for me. Uh, a television was there. Keith Robertson was there to uh, pretty much launch this Intellivision flashback. And uh, he had 200 of these autographed sleeves there that were putting on these Dollar General uh, exclusive consoles. Pretty awesome looking sleeve. I like up here. And how we trust. <laughs> of course, on the side, it has some really neat pictures from the Blue Sky Ranger scrapbook on the inside of the office here. The outside, the electronics shows everybody having a, a picnic. On the other side, it gives a little story about the Blue Sky Rangers. So it says here the. Uh, from 1978 to 1984, the application software staff of Mattel Electronics in Hawthorne, California designed and programmed games for the Intellivision video game system, nicknamed the Blue Sky Rangers by TV Guide magazine. They were mostly young, freshly graduated college students, making it up as they went along. They created a wide variety of fun, addictive games, many of which clearly influenced popular games of today. The Blue Sky Rangers are now scattered around the globe but remain a tight-knit group who love to share and live the stories of the pioneering days of the gaming industry with each other and with the new generations of players and designers. Find them at IntellivisionGamersGames.com Awesome! And of course, on the back is the most awesome thing is the autograph sleeve. Right there's Keith Robinson. Television rules! <sighs> Classic Game Expo 2014. Got some other people. David Warhol. Pretty cool. This was number 78 of 200. We got some more pictures over here of some of the Blue Sky Rangers. I like this guy standing in front of Space Invaders back there. That's pretty cool. This is from 1982. Now, when I went to. Uh, the fest, uh, the video game fest in uh, Arizona, a Game On Expo. I went to the very first one that Game Strategy One put on. Keith Roberts is there, so I met Keith and had dinner with him, and he gave me this, which is really cool. Willie, don't let the hot dogs get you. Keith Roberts in 2015. Artwork for Diner. Isn't that cool? I thought it was really awesome that he gave this to me. Keith was such a really nice guy. He's really missed in the classic gaming community. 
Anyway, let's take a look at the exclusive box real quick. I'm not going to open this one up, but at least you can see the Dollar General exclusive box. And the only difference between the two is we have Dollar General exclusive up here, and we have this little bonus game indicator decal right there. It says baseball. It came with World Championship Baseball, but they put the regular baseball in here as well. I would have preferred Tron Deadly Dis to be the exclusive game, to tell you the truth. But it's basically exactly the same as the 60 game console, just does have just has that extra game. So let's get that other console back up here. I'm gonna open it up. There you take a look at what's inside. So open up the box. What's in the box? Here's our instruction manual. Pretty straightforward. Shows how to hook up the system, system, how to insert the overlays. It shows all the different overlays that comes. That doesn't come with it, but it shows all the overlays for the uh, different games on here, which is kind of cool. So you can open this manual to a particular overlay that you need that didn't come with it in order to play your games. That's kind of cool. I believe there's a person that was making reproduction reproduction overlays. Uh, something Stormtrooper. Psycho Stormtrooper or something like that. I think that's what the guy's name was. I can't remember. I'm so sorry if you watch this video and I'm not saying your name correct. But he makes some really, go really cool reproduction overlays. Of course, how to play the games as I was discussing. It has brief descriptions of all the games on here. It's a nice manual. It's not, it's not too bad. Of course, we have our overlays. So we got uh, Crown of Kings. We have Space Hawk. Why are these all upside down? Half a word fun. Baseball. Bulls, Bloomers, Night Stalker. Minotaur. Astro Smash, Utopia. A lot of, these are really nice overlays. Pretty cool. Of course, we have the television flashback itself. Power on the side. Reset. Power. Our composite video out. We have our two controllers. Always had a hard time with the original television controllers. The only thing I had a problem with was the buttons on the side. It would cramp my fingers. These feel really nice, though. They don't feel as stiff as my original and television controllers. Disc is not a problem for me. I don't have a problem with the disc whatsoever. It actually works good for the auto racing game. It's almost like a steering wheel when you play auto racing. That works really good. And of course, you know the overlays. You know, insert. Fairly easy. Just slide them in like that. Boop. And you slide them back out. Maybe. Nope. It's not coming out. Oh, there we go. Oh, come out of there. There we go. And of course we have our power supply, which I've already taken out of the box. It's it's laying back over there. Back there. <laughs> Alright. Let's get this thing hooked up and we'll try some of my uh, some of my favorite games that I like on the television on here. Won't be able to play in television's uh, Tron Deadly Disc though, but we'll do Night Stalker, some Aster Smash, that kind of stuff. All right, fire up the old console. Television flashback. Classic game console. Some armor battle, blowout. Oh, Aster Smash. We got to play it. just a quick game of Aster Smash. I love this game. I used to play uh, the M Network game on uh, the 2600. Oh, activate auto fire. Mainly because you can use the paddle control. Now the disc for the disc is easy to use on this game. It's just going back and forth. But this game, I could waste hours upon hours playing. Such a deep game. Vertical asteroids. I like how it takes points away from you. When the meteors get past you, it gives you the incentive to try to uh, shoot the meteors before they hit the ground, even the ones you miss. Such a great game. Let's see, there's another one here I really like playing. Uh, 
There's uh, oh, oh, frog ball gets a good one. That was kind of cool. We got uh, frogs that kind of jump back from these lily pads, and you can shoot your tongue out to catch bugs that are flying overhead. I didn't play that one very much. Oh my gosh, Night Stalker. Yeah, Night Stalker. Go back. There it is. This one I played a lot on the demo kiosk. Oh, this is a great game. Shoot the bots. Oh, I missed him. I love the music in this game. It's very suspenseful. Ah. Oh, I didn't go around the corner. <laughs> Oops. I'm dead. Get my gun. Come on down here, Mr. Bot. Oh, watch out for the bat. The bats will freeze you. Shoot the bat. Come on, get down here. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, he didn't come down. There we go. Haha, -ha, shot him before he came out. you Whoa! <laughs> that's a great game uh, pinball which is really really good on here that's a pretty good game uh, let's see what else we got snafu that's a lot of fun it's like Tron but shark shark oh my gosh shark shark is such a great game And television presents Shark Shark, one player. Alright, Mr. Fish. Eat some little fish. Arf. Ooh, gotta watch out for the octopus. And the watch out for the shark. Well, that was quick. 100 points and I'm dead. Gotta watch out for the little crab or the lobster down there. Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah, I won't be setting no high scores on this game. Whoop, whoop, whoa. We're fish. We're fish. Get enough fish. Get a thousand points and I get bigger. And... <sighs> wow. I think I'm the world's worst shark shark player. Mr. Fish. Mr. Fish. Oh, oh. oh, I should have went for him. Freaking shark. Ah! Crack, crack, crack. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Right, I got to a thousand points. Grow. Grow, my fishy friend. Grow. Die! <laughs> Fifteen hundred points. Oh, that is terrible. It's got some good, uh, upbeat music, though. Okay, let's try that one here. Space Armada. It's a Space Invaders type game. It's, it's not bad. But Space Battle. Oh, yeah. This reminds me so much of, uh, uh, hang on a minute. I hit the wrong button. Of like, um, Battlestar Galactica. There it is. This one I really like too. Dispense my ships. 
engage in battle. Oh, looks like the blue is going to get there first. There we go. Ooh. What I like about this game is sometimes you get three hits in one. Because I love those explosions. I play the M-Network version of this game on like 2600 a lot. Oh, I died. Not so much of that ship. Oh, I died again. Man, I'm doing terrible today. There we go, we got two. Oh, almost had three. Watch out. I'm doing a lot of barrel rolls. I like the sound effects. But my favorite is the explosions. Oh! Rats! Oh no. Oh, my guys are gone. I'm dead. No! <laughs> oh, man. That's a great game. Let's see. What else is a good one on here? Do -do -do, do -do -do. Let's try. Let's try thin ice. Oh. This menu system just drives me insane. There we go. Thin ice. This is a cool game. One player. Sank. Oh, oops. Seal got me. I gotta swim to the water. Oh, hey, Seal. Yeah. Where? Ah! Oh. Come on, come on. Be a little greedy. I'm trying to get too many at once. Ah! Oh. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Do a little dance. This game is incredibly fun. Trapping his Zamboni. Watch out for the seal! the polar bear. Nope. Come on, come on. Oh, I almost got him. He's right on the edge. Oh! <laughs> oh, the polar bear got me. Thing about the water. Oh, I hit the polar bear again. Game over, man. <laughs> the 
this in television flashback. It's a pretty cool console. If you don't have an original television, you can find one of these at a flea market or something like that. It's kind of cool to pick up just to uh, play around with. Anyway, it's the Intellivision Flashback console from App Games. As always, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.